In today's video, we are going to be solving this problem right here, which is saying to write cosine 7 theta in terms of cosine theta. And we're actually going to use the Morse theorem for this. So our problem gives us cosine 7 theta, and we are to write this in just terms of cosine theta. Now, we could certainly use some angle addition properties of cosine to solve this problem, but the work for that would get pretty messy and complicated. So in this video, we're not going to use that. Instead, we're going to use de Morgan's theorem. Now, at first, it may not be super clear on how to use de Morgan's theorem in this case, but what we can actually do is add i sine 7 theta to this. Now this should look like a familiar form. This is essentially equivalent to cosine theta plus i sine theta to the seventh. This is because of de Morgan's theorem. Now we can just expand this out and see what we get. The seventh term, the seventh row of the Pascal's triangle is 1, 7, 21, 35, 35, 21, 7, 1. Now, if we use our knowledge of binomial theorem, these are just going to be our coefficients for when we expand this out. So our first, ter our first term is simple. It's just cosine theta to the 7th. We're using this coefficient right here, just 1. Now, we don't actually have to use this 7 here for our next term. And the reason being is, let me just write it out on what it would be. It should be cosine to the 6th plus, and then, or times, i sine theta. Now, we don't want this because i sine theta makes this term itself, it makes this term imaginary, and we are only looking for the real parts. So anytime that i sine theta is to an odd exponent, we don't want that. So we're essentially going to be going every other coefficient or every other term. So we don't want this 7 here, but we want this 21. So let's add 21 cosine. Now it will be cosine to the 5th, not to the 6th, because we skipped a term, times i sine theta squared. And we can expand that out later, and the i will go away, but I will do that at the end. Now, we do not want this 35 here, but we want the 35 here. So let's use that to get our next term. That will be plus 35 cosine to the third theta times i sine theta to the fourth. As you can see, we are only taking the even powers of i sine theta because that would make the term real. Now let's keep going. So our next term, we don't want this 21, but we want the 7 right here. So we're going to use that. We're going to add 7 cosine theta times i sine theta to the sixth. And now we're done. These are all the terms we're going to need. It's a lot easier than if you were to use all of the terms and then expand it and simplify and see that you don't need those terms. So this, this is why we are skipping the terms that we don't want. Now we can simplify this further because i squared is just negative 1. So let's rewrite this entire thing. It'll be cosine theta to the seventh minus because i squared is negative 1. Minus 21 cosine 5 theta sine squared theta. And let's just keep going. So i to the fourth is just 1, so this is the same except the i goes away. And then finally, 7 cosine theta and i to the sixth is going to be negative 1, so we actually want to change the sign to minus and then sine to the sixth theta. So we are done with the probably hardest part of it. Actually, now we remember we want to write this all in terms of cosine theta, but we still have some sine thetas over here. So we can actually get rid of this if we know our trigonometric identities. Now we can remember that sine squared theta equals to one minus cosine squared theta. And we can just plug this in for anywhere that we see sine to some even power. So let's actually do that to get everything in terms of cosine. So we'll just plug in 1 minus cosine squared theta for everything, which would give us cosine 7 theta 
minus 21 cosine to the fifth. And then now, in place of the sine squared, we're going to have 1 minus cosine squared theta. And then we'll have plus 35 cosine to the third times 1 minus cosine squared theta squared. And then finally, minus cosine theta times 1 minus cosine squared to the third. Let me erase that extra C. Okay, so now we just essentially have to expand everything out. Now I'm not going to write out this entire thing, um, but if you know what this is to the third power, it is basically just equal to, let me scroll down here, it is basically equal to cosine 7 theta minus 21 cosine 5 theta plus 21 cosine to the seventh. And then keep going, plus 35 cosine to the third theta. Now I will just write this all out. This is just simple algebra at this point. And let's just combine all these like terms as much as we can. That should eventually give you 64 cosine to the seventh theta minus 112 cosine to the fifth theta plus 56 cosine to the third theta minus seven cosine theta. So we've just written cosine seven theta in terms of cosine theta using de Moivre's theorem and binomial theorem. Thank you for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe.